<laughs> That's cool. That's pretty cool, look at that. <laughs> so I recently purchased the MMU-2S upgrade for the Prusa printer I have. And the main reason I got it was soluble filament. And that's because I've recently started printing these babies. Uh, so this is this was printed with soluble filament, and you can see that I had issues. Some most of them were because I didn't set it up properly, but I also have an issue with stringiness. Um, like this level of stringiness. So the the yellow or the uh, natural color here. This is the water soluble portion. This is the PLA portion, the greens PLA. You can see that where the filament string, the water soluble filament strings pass through the green uh, PLA, uh, we're getting voids. All right, just not very good. So what I did was and I'll show you what I did. So I did this one thing and it just made all the difference. So you can see here this is a failed print due to the MMU2S not loading correctly but you can see that Y is just much better than this Y. So let me show you what I did to correct this situation with the MMU2S. Yeah, so we gotta cut three inch wide pieces. Can, can I help and you? How many, can you count how many that I've done? How, how many? Yeah, we, we gotta count how many we've done and how many more we need to do. Of what? Of the boxy things? Yeah, these things. So you did one? So far we've done one, but it's actually two because we're gonna cut in half in a moment. So hopefully you'll see the plan coming together here. So the plan plan is to have dry filament. We're going to do that by taking this container here, flipping it upside down. This is the lid. It's got this little seal in it. Try to prevent moisture from coming in, but we'll see about that. Anyway, so 
This will then get slid over like so. And I think what we'll do is we'll have all the filament come out the bottom like that. That way we don't have to worry about going through this and we can just take this off when we want to access it and put it back on. So, with that said, let me introduce the reason we are doing all this. This is a food, fruit, food dehydrator. It comes with all these nice little stackable plates and you know, like many people have done before on the internet, uh, you just modify, make a bigger hole in one of these and you can stack a couple filaments in here, two or so, uh, and it'll dry them out. What I'm thinking of doing is this. So this is about, a, what is this, 12 and a half inches in diameter? 12 and a half. So this is 12 and a half inches in diameter. Knowing that, I went and bought this lid and container. And that will fit roughly like a so. So, plan is uh, cut a hole in the container top uh, very carefully, preferably um, very precisely. I doubt that's going to happen. We're probably going to have big gaps in here, uh, but I'm I'm not sure how important that is. We can seal it up. But I, ideally, in case the wife wants to use this to actually dehydrate fruit in the future, I want to not touch this or mar this in any way. Like, I want a slip fit connection. So, we'll cut a hole in the top of this. This will sit down on top of here. This will be the base. We'll just turn it on and off as we need to. Air will percolate. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, yeah. Air will percolate up through here via a fan and hopefully dry out all the filament uh, and then we'll probably have to put some kind of hole in the top of a lid so that the air goes out that way. At any rate, there's four of these holes on the top so as long as we put something like that in the top of this lid I think we'll be okay. So the only thing I'm kinda concerned about is the hot glue's melting point if it's going to get soft over time, given that this is going to be around 60 C centigrade or 140 dungarees. I'm not sure what the temperature of that hot glue melts at. Probably should have looked that up before I went to the effort of building all this. Oh well, we're already, we're already into it. Not too bad. Pretty good fit up, I think. So I'm thinking we drill a hole uh, right down in here. Okay, let's go set this up downstairs.
there. Left there. Oh, is it not? Come here. That's one. Two. So how do you get that? Get over there. Like, it's in the three. It's supposed to be over there, right? Yeah, this way. Control the natural rotation, maybe. Go for it. Okay, go for it. I'll hold on this side so that the bottom is not my Set it in. There. Okay. Alright, now we just need to wait a little bit for it to get soft. Alright, it's been about 18 minutes. I'm just gonna pull this out real quick. Very soft to the touch. Yeah, it's pretty much just mush right now. So I, I think we could probably start pulling some of these out. Oh, yeah. Look. No, it just pops right out. See? Same here. Whole thing's just kinda mushing right out. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. It just came right out. That's pretty cool. Now that. Alright, that's pretty much it for that. Now, these sub soluble supports. You, you know what you're doing with that? Printer? Oh. The rest of this, though. There we go, that's not bad. I'm pretty sure I could just leave this in the water and all of this would just dissolve away completely. But the question is, what is the amount of time it takes to go through one of these and prep it? Or even if I had maybe something that uh, would agitate the water, I might do that on its own as well. Because the idea is this to minimize the amount of time it takes to get rid of all this, right? So. Daddy, I can see supports. I'm going to cut this. Daddy. Mm-hmm. What's this say? Hey, what's this say? Hey, what's this say? Uh, it says Sarah. Sarah? Yeah. This is Sarah? Yeah, it says Sarah. Sarah. Sarah? Sarah must be Mommy's sister. That's right. Oh, fail. Fail. Well, some glue. I think we'll leave one of these uh, with that big glob of glue sticking all over the place in the water and see what happens. So this one with a little bit of brushing and some care it came out pretty, pretty decent, all, all things considered. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful this interesting and that interesting uh, but uh, yeah thanks for watching I'll see you catch you next time